uh, public comments concerning the items on the agenda for public. Yes, sir. I've got a question on on the the building that was voted on last time. Can I bring that up? Sure, bring anything you want. Okay. Uh, I know that we raised the taxes to pay for the grants, you know, for the park. I can understand that. But why do we have this, the taxpayer had to pay out over a million dollars for a building that actually is not beneficial to that many people? How many people have you got to move into that building out of this building here? When we already got a building that was bought in <coughs> 2020, and the only thing's been done to it is put plywood over the windows that somebody broke out. Well, that'll be tore down. That's where the gymnasium is going. Is that where you're that, talking about? That's expected. You know, if everything goes like it, we hope it might, but nothing has been totally decided about the what the cost of that building. We know we got an estimation of what the cost is going to be, but nothing has been finalized on that yet, Sammy, at this point. Okay, well, we do own that, the building. We do own that property. This building. Here. No, I'm talking about the property you mentioned yes, over there I, on, I on East Main that. Street at the Food Line property. But, but when it was brought up, mm -hmm. it was brought up to move the City Hall there to move the park building there, and you know all this, but it's never anything been done. But you go out and spend over a million dollars for a building that who's who's going to pay for that? Well, we were going to build a new building out there. If you looked at the old plans that we had, it would cost somewhere in the neighborhood of three million. Three to four million dollars. Yeah, at, it. at that time. And uh, well, that was the third place. What are you going to do with the building? Point. What are you going to do when you tear it down? Then we. This now here. Yes. There's going to be a gymnasium going there. That's what we hope to be able to do. Yeah, but, but that's going to have to be paid for. This old here is going to have to be paid for. When you're on the fixed income yeah. and your taxes, your county taxes goes up, your city taxes didn't already went up, how are you going to pay for this over here? We haven't decided what we're even going to look at buying it yet. We don't know what to do. Well, uh, from what well, I was told. Well, we decided, we decided to purchase the, the building, okay? Yeah but we had to meet some certain requirements. But as far as the expenditure of how we're gonna pay for that, we don't know if we're gonna have some type of a, how we're gonna do that capital outlay for that at this point. We've not gotten to that point yet, Sammy. So if, if it, we're gonna borrow the money, we don't know what we're gonna do at this point, how we're gonna borrow the money to do that. But you're gonna to have to, that's just counting the <coughs> money that you're gonna to have to pay for it when it was appraised at 907, nine, what was it, 900, 900,000, and you're paying 1.2 for it. Why pay that much when it was appraised for a lower price? That's just a tax just appraisal. A, that's yeah. just a tax appraisal on it. And I always, I, I was also told that they didn't come to y'all, y'all went to them. Is that true? About? Buying the building. About buy, about how, how this purchase price came about? Yes, I mean, they didn't come to you. I was told they didn't come to the city council about selling the building. Y'all went to them about buying the building. Is that true? I didn't approach them. It was offered to us for that price. If we wanted okay, to buy I mean, it, I just, that's what I was told. Yes. If we wanted to buy the building for this price, it was offered to us for this price. Yes. And that's not counting remodeling the building to make it a city hall. Oh, well, that's correct. What's it going to cost to remodel the building? We've not got into all those into all those figures at that, at, that, at this point yet. Yeah, we've not had an, an architect look at that at this point. 
why not? If you're well, we're, if we're, you're we're saying just a, we bought the building, then you should have architecture's uh, input in what it's going to cost. It'll cost a cool million to redo the building for you few people that actually work here in this building. Well, it's not going to be just a few people we think that may be moving into this building. But the, the purchase has not gone all the way through at this point that I know of. And I might let our city attorney speak to what's happening at this point, if you don't mind, about uh, what's happening at this point with the agreement to purchase yeah, that building. There, there was a, an acceptance of the offer, and with any real estate transaction, the next step would be to enter into a written contract. And any written contract um, for this type of purchase um, has certain uh, allowances for the purchaser to do inspections, uh, conduct uh, anything they need to do during um, the, that period to determine if it's feasible or not. Um, so this contract allows for four months of an inspection period uh, with an extension of another month if requested. So up to five months if it's necessary to do anything they need to do to determine if this building works and for any reason whatsoever the city can decide not to purchase it but it also contains other many other standard clauses that a real estate uh, contract would have so who determines if it's feasible the board how many people will be moving over if you buy it and decide to move city off well right now I guess I'll keep my mouth shut because I, I think I would. <laughs> I mean, you got you got four, you got five people that works up here in front. Of you. Is the is the fire department going to stay here? The police department going to stay here? Is that just five people that's going to affect over for a million two hundred thousand dollars? I would hope that with the purchase of this structure, that we would not only be able to move our Glenn and his, his staff over there, but the possibility of also moving, we're gonna see if it's feasible to do that, to move the water department over there. Wow, I've got a new building. I know what we've got. I know what we've got over there. But that doesn't mean that we might not be able to consolidate something, okay? And then maybe do something else with that property if we have to over on on, uh, on East Main Street. We're just gonna find out what the economic feasibility would be for our city once we have the architect look at this and see what we may be able to do and an engineer look at it. So it's not just the water department. We may end up moving, we may have room to move our police department over there also. They may be, maybe be able to, I don't know, this is just me thinking. I'm not thinking for the whole board here. I was hoping when we'd be able to do that, we'd be able to consolidate a lot of offices into that one office for a central location bigger than what we have here to better accommodate our city for what we may need for the future. Our city's growing, things are going great here. I, I'm really happy with what we've been able to do in the past few years. I, I, I agree with you, that. Okay. But when you go out and spend that kind of money on the building, and, we, and I wasn't here at the meeting, but I was told that it was a good buy to buy a building on Main Street. I mean, it just, it blows my mind when you're on a fixed income and you pay out taxes and everything and you're just barely living as it is. Why would you do something like that? I have a few things that I want to go over. Okay. Um, so as some of you know i am a real estate appraiser but i focus in residential so commercial is kind of out of my wheelhouse so i will go ahead and state that um also looking up the numbers this building was purchased for 688 770 in 2015. Um, do we know since it was purchased from a funeral home if any of this included personal property anything that would go along with you know the funeral business um, but that's showing at 1.2 million dollars a 43 percent increase 
which right now with inflation and the commercial real estate market, that's ridiculous paying that for that building. Yeah. Um, second of all, or third, whatever, we're taking off of city taxes, we're taking 5660 and off the county tax roll, 8852 So we've got more taxes that have to be made up. As you said, there's no mention where the money's coming from. We don't know what the interest rate's gonna be. We don't know how it's gonna be bought. Um, the size of the building. The building's what, 9,000 square feet? You don't need 9,000 square feet for seven, seven, eight, whatever offices. Um, I think you just heard we mentioned that we were going to have more than right, but there's no plan. We're putting the cart before the horse. When I listened to the last meeting, it was said, well, basically the first thing is to get the building, is to purchase the building. Because when it was talked about renovation costs, um, I think it was said, well, we might need some cubicles. You're going to need more than cubicles. Would you take $1.2 million of your own money and go buy something without doing your due diligence? I wouldn't. That's why. And I hope this due diligence period, you all are going to look at it from that standpoint. Because I don't think that the interest of the city residents, I, I don't think this takes that into account. I think it's... And then let's talk about the optics of the whole thing. You do that the month after a tax increase. Some of us are lucky and we're fortunate that we can pay our taxes, okay? I pay taxes for two different structures in the city. And sometimes I wonder exactly what I get out of paying those taxes. But it looks like that some of this is gonna go towards paying for a new building which in this economy, with people struggling with bacon being $11 a pack, do you really think that's the best way to show the city that you care about them? I don't. Then we had the personal interest disclosures. Now I know in my business, if I sell a property that's owned by, let's say when I sold my father-in-law's property, I had to sign a personal interest disclosure, okay? That says, I do have personal interest. And regardless of what has been said, I think there is personal interest in this. And if somebody can't see that, I'm sorry. What personal interest are you talking about? Well, your son owns half of that. Eloise's son-in-law owns half of that. So there's family involved. But I'm talking about the optics of it. I'm talking about you're sitting here as a citizen uh, of the city. Clarify, right. there, were, there were the required right. disclosures obtained and, and filed by, by law. So, and we're buying a building that doesn't even have any historic, I mean, I could see if it had some historical significance and it was in disrepair, but I think it's a waste of money. Um, and going into that, um, I'll comment on something else later, but. All right, anybody else? Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need to talk to Mr. Nelson, the. Um, Building inspector? Yes. Is He's he here? Right. Oh. He's right now. Hi. Well, I messaged you. My name's Wanda Albright. Do you remember the property on 521 Tuggle Hill Road? Um, yes. And I ask you, have you written the guy a permit? We have not. Okay. The reason I came to this meeting, the guy takes out a pocket measure and a can of spray paint and goes on my property and sprays on it. That's his form of appraisal or doing his survey. survey. Then the neighbor's walking his dog and he's asking him, have you seen <coughs> permit yet and he in so many explicit said he don't need a permit well, and he will do what he wants to well I, I can assure you that he has not got a permit uh, he will not get he, he won't get a permit 
and if it starts building, we'll put a stop worker over there. Well, he comes on the weekends. That's okay. So I, I, I work several. But days I get a little background. He's got several aliases in several states, but, and he's not a nice person. But there, there, he, he will not get a building permit. Though. Thank you very much. Okay. Anybody else? Well, then I have something to mention on the creation of the new building and grounds department. <coughs> a little over two years ago, some of you all remember, I came in and was talking and actually laughed at by some people because I got emotional talking about things that have been done to our building. And at that time, I was told that it wasn't in the budget for more police officers. Um, we couldn't afford it. But now we're creating a new department for building and grounds. This is another decision that's being made to spend taxpayers' dollars that I wonder if the consideration has even been given to what city residents think about the way their money's being spent. Because I guarantee you, if you went out and talked to city residents, they wouldn't think it's the best use of their money, especially in this economy. I mean, when the taxes were increased, I agreed. Um, I think they hadn't been increased in 20 years, and there were people that got raises that needed raises. But I think there's other ways to spend that money, whether it's infrastructure, whether it's some sort of economic development. Um, the number of vacant buildings we have downtown, just when I looked on the MLS before I left the, not, uh, the office, um, there's a better use for that money. And then we talk about $1.2 million and taxes were raised, water and sewer rates were raised, um, and then we have a proposed $16.5 million project down here that removes an indoor swimming pool. And I've been told part of that was cost. Well, I swam with people like Carter Hale, that you all may know, the Shanks family, the Broom family, all those people driving from Rogersville, a lot of them stayed at my house, to participate in a year-round sport. And this was, I mean, I'm 47 years old, so this was 25 years ago, longer than that. Um, and when I think about that two, that $1.2 million building, I think it's just removing something that most citizens in this city want is not representing their best interests. That's all I've got. Thank and I'll sure. shut up after that. Anybody else? I have a question. What are they building next to the IPC Denison building? So I saw them breaking ground there. What are they going to put there? Does anyone know? Don't know yet. I don't know. Do you know who owns it? I don't know who owns it. Oh, that property. I, don't know. I think I had an idea who might have owned it, but I hate to say that publicly. Well, I understand that. So, okay. Okay. anybody else? So, my understanding: the building has not been bought yet. That's correct. That's correct. And be four months before we know anything. I'll let. Kevin, the, the contract allows a four month inspection period that can be extended another month. So it could be before that or it could it could never happen. They have the discretion to decide what's feasible, what works, and in for any reason, they could decide not to go through with it or they could decide to go through with it next month. It, it, the contract allows that. Do you think they'll go through with it? I, I, I can't speak. I'm just telling you legally what the contract says. We don't have the information about yet. What I can't understand, it, it was brought up the last meeting, and you voted on the last meeting to buy it. And he just I, told me about that. So that we said it was contingent, but it was contingent, Sam, it was contingent upon what what right, Kevin just I, I told you. I understand that. I can understand that. But is it a I need a lawyer. Is it law against bringing something up at a meeting without giving any notice to, to the public? It was on the agenda. And voted on it? It was on the agenda, but 
there, there is, but it could be added to the agenda based on unanimous consent of the board. So, I mean, the, the law was followed in that regard as far as it being on the agenda. You couldn't see the agenda on, on the internet. I, 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 I don't, it depends. You couldn't see it. You couldn't get into it. Okay. Well, it Gina, this agenda. is probably where I can say what I came to say. Well, let it rip. Um, in uh, last year, the legislature amended the TCA in two areas regarding municipal meetings. One of them you already do beautifully to the point that I could actually quote you on it. I've heard you say it so many times. And that's a public comment section. You usually say, if you're not on the agenda and you have anything to say, now's the time to come forward. I'm quoting you word for word on that. But the other one we do awful. As a matter of fact, I can't even find it. And that is, as of uh, April of last year, the agenda is supposed to be put in a public place a minimum of 48 hours before the meeting, preferably on your website. I've got the documents right yeah. here, and I ran one off for all of you. And I want Glenn to give uh, Sandy one, too, because Sandy does the... The agenda's on there. If you go on their website now, we've got a button that says agenda. Okay, and, and let me tell you this, Glenn. That is so difficult to get into, but I want y'all to make that there. easier. If you'll, the, the way that thing was set up when it was set up, you had to have a Google map, I mean a Google exactly. account. Exactly. So I'm in the process of revamping our whole web page. I'm in the process, already got the water departments done. Well, thank we're, the we're, Lord, because it's We're working on it, but we have been putting it out there like we were supposed to, but it just wasn't getting <laughs> yeah, where it Yeah, but nobody can see it. Yeah, okay, and I understand well, your concern, and here we'll take your documents. Well, it doesn't do any good to post it if we can't find it. Well, that's what I'm working on. <laughs> and right, right here, at least I love you, I'm not fighting with you. And here, if you all don't know this, the new people. We know it. I don't know your training, but I don't know what they do for your training. But MTAS we know that. is really your place. And then here's your guy, sure. Pete. And I've got one of these. I've got one of these. I love you. And give one to, give one to Sandy. What? They're not giving to us. Lay them up there for going in. He can pass them. Anybody, anything else? Mm -hmm. We'll go into the agenda then. 7-9-24-1. Establish an independent department of building and grounds. Main the second and final reading. Thank you. We don't have to have a code here. I'd like to make a motion to pass it on the second reading. I'm sorry, pass what? I didn't hear. You didn't hear what I read? No, I didn't. Okay. Ordinance number 79241, establishing the Independent Department of Building and Ground Maintenance. Second and final reading. Okay. Is this, mainly to, is this mainly to like differentiate like the maintenance from this? Is that the main? Yes. The way it was written up, it was taking into account the, all the flowers that were being planted and then the maintenance of certain buildings here in town, building and grounds for our city. Do you have a motion? Do I have a second? Moved and second. Any other discussion? I need to get a little color. Accepting 2023 financial audit statement. Yeah, we got the, um, I passed the audit out. I don't know I gave it to you. And we all look over, but yes, we are up to date on our audit. That's awesome. So, yes. 
I just, we always accept the audit and I always bring it before you also. If you've got any questions about what's in there. I'm glad they finally got it finished up. Yeah, yeah. We're, now we're working on it. Yeah. Um, make a motion we accept the 2025 audit, or 2023 audit. Okay, I'll second. I'll second. Move and second. Any other discussion? <coughs> All in favor, say aye. 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 Disapprove, no. Tree board appointment. Um, the tree board <coughs> has had another one that's had to resign and they were asking to put Matt Smith on the tree board to appoint him. Um, and I, they'd asked me to bring it before you, so I'm bringing it before you if that's, if y'all make a motion to put Matt on the tree board. Make a motion to put Matt on the tree board. I'll second it. Second. Move to second. Any other discussion? It's good to have somebody. I think we all like that. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Disapprove? No. I don't have anything else. I do. Do. I'd like I do. to make a motion. We add an item to the agenda. Okay. Yeah. So I'd like to have amended to the agenda since we approved, maybe I should have brought this up two items ago. Since we appointed or have uh, approve the uh, independent department of the building and grounds maintenance i'd like to add an item to the agenda that we appoint uh said individual to that to that position so that's my motion we have a motion to have a second to add it to the agenda you're on that tonight i'm tonight yeah. or mm -hmm. Thank you.